Good morning, good morning everyone. It is Emily and I am back today with another cash stuffing video. So this is my cash stuffing for March the 15th. I got paid yesterday and so I am going to be stuffing $550. So uh, let me give y'all a brief introduction for all my newbies. My name is Emily. I am a single mom to a 10 year old. I am a custodian for the local school district here in the upstate of South Carolina. So um, we do all things over here on a low income budget. Okay, so uh, let's get started you guys. So the yellow binder is my cash envelopes. The um, LB inspired binder is my sinking funds. Okay, so the, a brief disclaimer, this time in my sinking funds envelope, I have some prop money and the reason why I do have some prop money mixed in is because I do not keep a lot of cash in my home or on my body for safety reasons. So some of my money for some of these sinking funds are actually deposited into my um, Capital One 360 account. So I am just using some prop money for a placeholder. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so this is cash envelopes and what I have now here is I have this $20 is sitting right here. This is for my co-workers lunch, which is something that we choose to do every so often. We provide lunch for um, each other and so um, we haven't done it in a couple of weeks. So I still have that $20 sitting there. And I'll be adding to that in a minute. So gas has $10 left. And I am going to keep that $10 in there because gas has went up. So what I am going to put in today is $80. So I did increase my gas budget by $10 more um, because I was putting in $70. So today, gas will receive $20, $40, $60, $80. Gas will receive $80, $20, $40, $60, and $80. Okay. And it has that 10, so gas has 90. And this is for two weeks, you guys. So gas has 90. Laundry got a bit of a $10 increase as well because I need to wash over spring break, which my spring break is next week. I will need to wash some extra linens and stuff. So laundry has nothing, and laundry will be getting three tens. I hope I got my denominations right so that this all falls correctly at the end. So three tens makes thirty dollars for laundry. Usually laundry gets ten dollars per week. And the reason why I have laundry is because I do not have a washing machine and dryer hookup at my house. I will be saving, start saving in July for a portable washing machine and dryer, guys. Grocery has some pennies in here. It's got about pen some pennies and a dime. So I think it's about 14 cents in there. Um, take that out and put it in my coin jar. <clears throat> Groceries will be getting just $100 this pay period because I still have a lot of food left over from when I stocked up with my taxes and um, from previous pay week. So let's see, grocery will get 100 so, grocery will get this $100 bill. I mostly just need some drinks and some snacks. So, but yeah, groceries get $100. Ashton has money in here. Ashton is my daughter for the newbies. She has $10 in here to pay for uh, a girls group that she is joining. Okay, so I will be adding $20 for her hair and $10 for allowance. So she'll get a 20 for her, for her hair towards her next hair professional hairdo and $10 for allowance, which I probably will be holding because Miss Missy, Miss Missy Poo ain't been doing her thing, y'all. So holla at, at y'all Nisi Poo in the comments. Let her know she need to do the right thing. Okay, so Ashton received 30. She has uh, $40 in there right now. Emily is myself. Emily received $60 for nails. 20, 
40 and 60. Hopefully, I don't have to spend this whole 60. But I do, I have problematic nails, you guys. <laughs> like, if you don't know, see how these two nails go up, grow upward. So, yes, I do have nails that they call ski slope nails. They grow upward. Not all of my nails do that. It's just uh, about two on each hand that does that. So, um, after they get so long, I have to get them uh, cut down and took off and reset, basically. So yeah and that's only because i was a very bad nail biter for years so um my nail tech she told me she wanted to take those nails off and basically um redo them because of them growing upward so it will probably cost me a little bit extra money some people don't notice that well if you look at them this way they don't look like that but if you look at them like that you see how they're going up yeah i don't like that <laughs> Anywho, um, household, and, and then going back to my nails, that is why I don't do my own nails because I do have that issue with them growing upwards because I was a nail biter. My daughter nails grow the same way because she was, she was a bit bad nail biter for years too, so. Um, household, household is only going to get $10. I did stock up on some of my household items when I got my taxes. I just need a few things, so I'm just going to do $10. Uh, personal. Personal. I don't have an envelope for personal, y'all. So, I always stick it right here. Um, personal will get $10 as well. I usually do $20, but we did do a bit of a stock up when I got my taxes. So, this $10 is going for personal. Dining out. Eat out will be getting $30. I have been doing too much eating out, y'all. So, we're going to scale back a little bit, but... Um, Ten thirty dollars is going to go for eat out. Yeah, I've kind of been on a little funk and haven't really been cooking a lot, but we're gonna get we're gonna get our thing back together because you know I got a budget, yeah, I got a budget. Okay, so thirty dollars for um, eat out. Miscellaneous receives forty dollars. Miscellaneous category is basically for unbudgeted items y'all the things that are unaccounted for in my budget within those two weeks so i always have things come up so this money i always get gone y'all miscellaneous is receiving 40. so how y'all doing this morning it's early early in the morning y'all okay um birthdays birthdays let me see how much birthdays have i recently spent some of this Birthday also has some change I'm going to take out and put it inside of my change jar off camera because I didn't bring it down today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so birthday gifts has 17 right now. I'm not going to add anything to this envelope today, okay? Okay, fun, fun. Won't be receiving anything as well. This is for spring break, y'all. So, I have 50 in here. Spring break is next week. So, we have $50 to go and do something fun. Thinking about taking action to the movies. I want to see the new Batman movie. But I need to look up the um, reviews as well as the ratings just to make sure it's not going to be too rough for her. She is... Going to be 11 soon, so um, most of the time I let her watch them. If it don't have too much, uh, if it does not have any kind of sexual contact or any kind of sexual stuff in it, if it has cussing and stuff, um, you know, I usually let her watch that or whatever. But she know better. Okay, so fun has 50. Debt has. Uh, let's see how much debt has, y'all. I have added some money to this off camera because I um, did receive. Um, I, I have been working, y'all. I've been working a lot on the weekends. I've done a house. I've been working at my school on the weekends, and then I received a hundred dollars um, rebate from my insurance, and some of that went towards debt as well. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred, twenty. 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. So that has 153. I will be taking this $153 and applying this towards um, 
my credit card, one of those credit cards. I'm snowballing it, y'all. So I'm gonna put in 30 extra dollars in here. And then now we're gonna count this again. I'm gonna snowball this thing. I'm getting these credit cards off of me. They like a monkey on my back. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna get that together. So let's see what we got now 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. 183, y'all. So debt has $183. I think that I will have some money left over in my account about maybe $13 and I'm going to go ahead and apply that $13 to this too but it will be off camera once all my bills is paid whatever buffer I have left that small buffer I have I'm going to apply it towards debt too so that's that you guys so that is my cash envelopes okay let me go back no 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 I'm going to do that and put that in sinking funds okay so the next one I have is my LV Inspired uh, binder. I purchased this from the Ben Rad shop. I will leave the link down below. Um, so emergency fund has prop money in it, you guys. Um, so emergency fund has one thousand. Has one thousand um, forty-five dollars in here. Okay, so let's see. A thousand twenty-five of this is prop money. One, so this this is prop money right here, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, a hundred. So that's a one thousand dollars. Twenty. And here's a real twenty. Forty-five. So I have a thousand twenty-five of this in my account, and there's twenty a real twenty-dollar bill in here. So I have $1,045 in my emergency fund. I need to go ahead and update my tracker. So here's the 1,000 here. And then I need to color in an extra piggy on my other tracker. Okay, and if I get five more dollars, I'm coloring two piggies. Okay, so that's emergency fund. Vacations. I have $200 in prop money in here. So what I have for vacation now is 100, 200, 30, 20, 40, 50, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So $234 for vacation. $200 of this is prop money. Okay. I'm not trying to keep all this money at home. So that's why I decided to use prop money. Okay, going forward, housing. So, for my newbies, I do not disclose the full amount that I have in housing. Um, I do have majority of my money, or all of my money here, is in um, my bank account, a separate savings account for housing. I am currently saving for a house. Um, and we'll talk about that in a future video. I don't disclose the amount that I have saved. Um, not for you, most of you guys, but for anybody that knows me personally that watches. Um, I don't disclose that because I don't want anybody asking to borrow money. Because they see you have a significant amount of money, they be trying to ask to borrow it. And I'm on a mission. I don't, I'm not lending out any money to anyone. So that's why I don't disclose that amount. On camera and I will do the closer I get to buying then I will disclose the amount that I have okay so I have what I have in my account and then here I have 20 30 40 and 50 and so what I'm gonna put in here um, it's only gonna get $20 this time you guys I have to back down on this right now because I do realize that um, I have a issue which I'll talk about in a minute okay so uh, so now housing has 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So housing has $70. And I will be taking this to deposit into the bank probably this weekend. So housing has $70 in it, along with what I have in my electronic account. So let's go and let's talk about this issue that I have. So, um, 
some of you guys may or may not know that I live in public housing. Public housing is projects, um, project-based apartments. Um, and I'm saying projects because that's what it is really called. Um, and the apartments that I live in have some major issues that they need to fix in the apartment. They need to remodel these apartments. These apartments were built in the 70s. The insides need a lot of work done. So um, they were purchased by another company and the company is supposed to come in and remodel these apartments. So they're telling everybody that um, we may have to leave our apartment and move into another apartment or they may just kick us all out and just redo all the apartments. Uh, I really don't know yet, but I do did realize that I do need to save for moving. So I am starting a moving fund and I don't have an envelope for it. So I'm going to put back $30 for moving today. Um, I may be moving to another apartment as they work on this apartment. They have not really gave us any details yet. So I do need to start preparing for a move of some sort. Okay. So, um, I'm going to put $30 into moving. So I don't have an envelope for it. So I'm just going to place it right here. Okay. In front of housing. So $30 for moving. And so I'm going to back down on saving for housing for the next few months. I'm going to go ahead and just start saving for moving because, um, I may just be putting my things in storage and going to go live, live with my, um, boyfriend for a few weeks. Or I may go live with my mom for a few weeks. Um, only, um, I, I would prefer to stay with my boyfriend, but he lives on the other side of town. My mom lives close to where my daughter needs to get on the bus at, as well as um, she lives closer to my job, which will allow me to save money in gas. Opposed to if I go stay with him, I'm going to be spending more money in gas. So we'll work that out when the time comes. Okay, so that's that. Medical has nothing in it. Okay, medical has nothing. It's not going to get anything. Car savings has prop money in it. So what I have in, um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up with the time. I got to wake my daughter up for school, y'all. Okay, so what I have in car savings is prop money. I have majority of this in my electronic uh, capital 360 account. So what I have saved up for a new car is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, $620. So I have $620 saved up. I need to update my tracker. These trackers come from Jordan Budgets over on uh, Jordan Budgets here on YouTube. And Jordan Budgets on Etsy. I will link her shop down below and her channel down below, you guys, in the description box if you're interested in those trackers. Okay, so I'm saving for a new car because, for the newbies, because um, I own a 2007 Kia Sportage that now has 206,000 miles on it. So eventually I will need to get another car. So that's what I'm doing. I'm saving, for ca I'm saving to pay cash for another car. Okay, so... It has $620 in car savings. Car maintenance. Okay, so I just put $445 for car maintenance. And then I need some more work done on my car. So um, I do have some prop money in here. Because I do have some of this in my uh, electronic Capital One account. So what I have um, here is... What I have, period, for the remainder of my car maintenance is $120. 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, that's 200, 10, 20, 30, 45, 245 dollars, and I am going to add some money to car maintenance, I'm going to add 30 dollars to car maintenance, y'all, so I'm going to take a 20 and a 10, <sighs> y'all, this video is getting kind of lengthy, so I'm going to have to speed it along. So I do, like I said, I have some of this in my account. So that's why I got prop money here. Okay, 120, 40, 60, 80, 100, that's 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
75, 275. So I have 275 in car maintenance. Okay, so I need to get some things done. So I'll be spinning this pretty soon. Probably on spring break, y'all. This will be depleted. So I'm trying to get everything I need done on my car during spring break. Summer activities. This is the amount of money I have in here. Um, which this is prop money. I have this sitting in my Capital One account. Um, $250. Okay, is what I have in summer activities. Which is for my daughter's summer camp. And as of right now, I'm not sure if she's going to summer camp or not. She just might be going to stay with her grandparents for the summer. So I have $250 in summer activities. Back to school has nothing. And Christmas has... Y'all, it is raining. I don't know if y'all hear that rain, but yes, it is raining. Christmas has 20 40 and 10 50 Christmas has $50 in it. I need to fill out my trackers, y'all. This is my Christmas tracker purchased from Jordan Budgets. Okay, so I need to update and fill those out. I'll do those off camera. Okay, so last but not least, I have money for, let's see. I'm going to make sure I get this right, you guys. I have money for my 52-week savings challenge. 10, 20, 30, and 40. I have an extra 10 that's supposed to be going for something. So let's see. Oh, let's go ahead and add this 10, y'all. So this 10 is supposed to go for co-workers lunch. So let's go back in here. And I had that $20 sitting here. I'm going to add 10 to that. So that's, that'll be $30 for co-workers luncheon. We'll put that down here. <laughs> Okay, so let's close that back up. I almost forgot about that. Okay. We got this out of the way. And what I have left is $40. That will be going into my 52-week envelope box. So my tracker says 52, 50 envelope challenge, but I am actually doing 52 weeks. And I have 52 envelopes in this box right here. Okay, so today we will be stuffing number 40 make sure I, I'm trying to get in frame y'all so bear with me let's see let's find number 40 we're going to keep it simple this time because I really wanted to break that down and do maybe two envelopes but we're just going to do one envelope and we're going to get 40 40 okay so we're going to put in 10, 20, 30, and 40 in our 52 week envelope challenge. Okay, I'm moving right along with this, you guys. I'm gonna color in number 40 off camera, okay? I didn't bring my markers down stairs. So that's number 40. And I'm just gonna stick it in here with the others, okay? So for all my newbies, on this side is the ones that I have filled, and on this side is the ones that I need to fill. Okay. I'm gonna put the top back on there like so. Here is my challenge card. So I need to fill in this one here. Okay. So I've got one through ten already filled, thirteen through seventeen filled, nineteen and twenty filled. Then I have 30 fill and number 33, and then I have number 40. So I'm moving along, y'all. I'm moving right along. So thank you guys for checking out my video. Um, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and do so. It doesn't cost a thing, and I really appreciate it. I've been uh, getting a lot of new subbies, and I appreciate y'all for joining the fam. Um, leave down a leave a comment down below and let me know how y'all year is going financially are you doing well have you had some setbacks um i haven't had any setbacks yet and let's knock on wood that i do not have any setbacks um and yeah we're just gonna keep moving we're gonna just keep it moving and pushing over here um things are going okay i hope they continue to go well and 
Hope I don't have to tap into that emergency fund. I only tapped into it one time last year, y'all, and that was at the end of the year, and that was to pay off that furniture that I had an extra $109 that I had to pay off uninspectedly. But other than that, everything went well last year. I didn't have to tap into my emergency fund. So that's that on that. And uh, yeah, let's get this debt paid off, y'all. Let's get this debt paid off. That is my main goal this year is to pay off these consumer credit cards. Okay? So yeah, um, I'll holler at you guys later. Thank you for watching my video. And stay blessed. Bye.